What's going on guys? Today we're going to be doing a fluid change on the 5 speed manual transmission for this Mark IV Volkswagen Golf 2004 2 liter. Um, we're going to need specialty tools for this. Well not really specialty but um, Allen type uh, socket 17 millimeter for the drain plug and the fill plug. The drain plug located underneath the car is coming from the front. Coming from the front, the drain plug is right there. And the fill plug is just forward towards the front of the car right here. And to get access to this, we may have to remove the skid plate here. Just using, uh, I think it's four T25 head fasteners. So we'll drain it now and then uh, pull off that skid plate. So we're just going to be using our breaker bar here to break loose that drain plug. A test to our 17 millimeter socket. All right, so this thing looks like it's pretty corroded on there. So we got our breaker bar hooked up. Hopefully we don't break anything except the nut loose. There we go. Wasn't too bad. All right, pulled off the front splash shield just underneath so we have easier access to the fill plug. Just right there. And we can go ahead and pull that plug out and then we can uh, fill it up once we put the drain plug back in. Okay, now that we have the drain plug back in, the fill plug out, um, it's time to fill her up with gear oil. We're going to be using uh, recommended gear oil 75W90. Um, this is GL4 and for manual transmissions. This brand is Pennzoil and that's what we'll be throwing in there. And we're going to be filling it up until it just comes out of the fill plug. So we'll do that now. So in order to get the fluid into the fill plug, we're going to be using a pump. Uh, just this, this little pump right here. So we're probably going to take this uh, long tube and just shove it in the new um, bottle of gear oil and and then pump it into the, the fill plug until it spills out a little bit and then it'll be full. Alright, we filled it until it just uh, spilled out of the fill plug a little bit. Now we can throw the fill plug back in. Throw it in by hand for now. And then get a wrench on there and tighten her up so she's nice, good and tight. All right, once we've tightened these back up, it's a good idea just to wipe around the plugs. Got all the dripping gear oil off, so that way we can keep an eye on the area around the plugs and see if there's any leaks. And if there's leaks, then we can tighten up the plugs just a little bit more. Now we can go ahead and throw back in our splash shield with the T25 fasteners. Alright, shield's back on. The oil's been changed in the uh, transmission. Now we can go bang some gears. Thanks for watching. 